welcome back to Twister Sister Studios. I'm Holly the Twister Sister here to teach you a new balloon twisting design. Everybody has been asking me for a ice cream tutorial because I have clip art for it but no tutorial <laughs> because I, that was a custom request for the clip art. I drew it for somebody. Um, I didn't actually have a tutorial for it and I've been avoiding it forever because I was like I don't know how to make an ice cream cone that looks good or like the clip art. But I challenged myself to finally solve this issue and fulfill your request. And today I think that I have done that. So I'm going to show you how to make an ice cream cone today. If you do want to see how to make this cool hummingbird though, make sure you check out last week's video because that's one of my favorites. <laughs> so for the ice cream cone, I am going to be using a white 260, a white 160, and then also a blush colored 160 and a blush colored 260. These are two different brands of blush color, so they are slightly different shades, but that's what I've got and we're gonna work with it. It's gonna look okay. I'm gonna inflate my blush 260 and we're just going to leave about, we're not gonna use a whole lot of this balloon, so you can leave about a four to five inch tail, doesn't matter there at the end. I'm going to start off with the cone part of the ice cream cone. So you can make that as long as you want to with these bubbles. I'm gonna do about three to four inches on the first bubble. We're gonna do a three bubble body. So another set, another bubble about the same size. Bring your remaining balloon down, twist those two together. And then the rest of your balloon's gonna go back up. We're gonna make another bubble, same size. And I'm going to roll it right on through those other two bubbles to lock it in place. This is gonna be the bottom part, sort of the cone part of the cone. <laughs> and then on the top of this cone, I'm gonna put a pinch twist. So we're gonna do a small round bubble, fold this over, make that a pinch twist. We're gonna come out just a little ways, so a small little spacer bubble. And then I'm gonna put another pinch twist here. So a small round bubble and turn that into a pinch twist. So you have pinch twist, spacer bubble, pinch twist. Now if you don't have 160s that match, you can take your remaining balloon here and you could wrap it all the way around back to that pinch twist and that would be your cone, okay? But I like to have sort of a twisty look on this rim of the cone. So that's where we're gonna bring in the 160s. But if you're crunched for time, you can do the cone all with just this one 260. And this would just be sort of the rim of the top of your cone, okay? I'm gonna leave that there for a second. I'm gonna blow up my 160. So I've left about two inches there at the end. I'm going to fold my 160 in half, making sure the uh, end here with the tail is a little bit down below the nozzle end. That way as we twist this and this part of the balloon grows and expands, it won't be way longer than this side of the balloon. Okay, so I've got these about in half. I'm going to twist them at that halfway point. And the pinch twist that we made that's out here, not the one right on top of our cone, but this other one, we're gonna wrap our 160 around that pinch twist to get it locked in. And then I'm going to spiral the two sides of my 160. We just kind of do a nice tight spiral. I do have a video on spiraling balloons. If you've never tried it, you might want to check that out. Okay, when I get to the end here, I'm just going to hold on to it. I don't really want to twist it yet because I don't know exactly how long I want the spiral to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our spiral. It's going to come around the top of our cone like this, okay? Just ignore this 260 hanging out here for a second. We're gonna wrap it all the way around and where it comes back to this 260 pinch twist, that's where we want to tie off our 160 spiral, okay? So I've got that tied off. I'm gonna wrap it around again and we're gonna twist it into that 260 pinch twist. So now this is going to be your cone. It looks pretty good, right? And if these two colors matched, it would look even better. But again, use what you got. <laughs> All right, so now you should have three balloon tails hanging out here. We don't need these 160 tails um, anymore, so you can go ahead and get rid of those. Make sure you tie those 160s together in a nice little double knot just to prevent anything from coming undone. 
And then on the 260 left over here, I'm gonna come out to the end and let the air out of this part of the 260, but I'm not going to get rid of it because we're gonna use this to attach our top part of the ice cream. The only thing is we wanna get it more in the middle of the top of the cone. Right now it's kinda of out here on the edge. We wanna get it oh, out here so it's coming straight up from the middle. So I'm just gonna move this spiral out of the way for a second. I'm gonna bring that tail across the spacer bubble and I'm just gonna wrap it around that pinch twist one little time to lock it on so it's gonna be coming up from the middle of our cone. You can put your spirals back down. Okay, so now we've got a nice string coming out from the top of our middle of our cone so we can attach the ice cream next. To make the ice cream, this was so simple. I should have seen it a long time ago. <laughs> and I haven't shown this technique on YouTube in many, many years. I think I've only done it once with my old snake video. We're gonna take a 160 and we're gonna place it inside of a 260. I'm gonna put it all the way inside that 260. If you get to a point where your balloon kinda of gets hung up and you can't really push it any further, that's okay. We're going to take hold on to where you feel the end of that 160 and then hold on to the nozzle of your 260 here and we're just going to pull down so you have both nozzles lined up together let go now that 160 is fully inside the 260 it's just bunched up a little bit so we're just going to kind of massage it down to straighten everything out and then you'll have your 160 inside of your 260. Now you wanna to come to the end of your balloon, feel for both balloons in there, and you wanna tie those together in a little knot. Okay, that'll keep everything tied together. And now we're gonna do the magic part that people love to watch, and we're going to make this into a really tight spiral. I experimented with so many different ways of doing the swirly ice cream look, and this is the best way I found that gives the most consistent results every time. Um, there was other techniques I tried where I could get it sometimes, but if you looked at it the wrong way, it came undone. I don't want to teach you guys those techniques, so this is the most consistent with the best results. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our 160, we're actually going to pull it out most of the way. So you just want like three inches or so of bunched up 260 here and the rest of the 160 is outside of your uh, little caterpillar here. <laughs> and then I recommend using a floor pump for this part because we're gonna be inflating the full 260 and it can get a little uh, difficult to inflate with a hand pump just because we're gonna have the 160 inside and it's gonna be stretching really far and it can make it a little more difficult than normal to inflate your 260. But for the purposes of this video, so you guys can actually see what I'm doing, I'm going to use a hand pump for this. So I'm just gonna get the tip of my pump inside the 260. It's all bunched up like a caterpillar here. The rest of that 160 is just hanging off here to the side. We're just gonna put our thumb on it to make sure it stays there and doesn't get sucked back up inside the 260. And then we're gonna go ahead and fully inflate our 260 all the way to the end. All this scrunchy stuff, yes, so here we go. There we go. <laughs> Now your spiral might inflate a little crazy and that is okay because we can fix this. Just make sure you're holding on to that 160 nice and tight so it doesn't get sucked in there and make your balloon less spirally. And I'm just gonna tie a knot in here before we lose that 160. Okay, so now you wanna fix your spiral. So I'm just going to kind of follow the spiral and swirl things around into the right direction so just follow the swirl up and with that 160 inside of there you kind of have some ability to maneuver this around and what I want to do is I want to kind of get that little uh, what is that called I want to get that little curly cue sort of on top of our swirl so I'm going to take the end of my balloon like that and just kind of fold it up Give it a little squeeze. So that ending part is kind of sticking up. 
and then we can play with the rest of our swirly balloon to get it about how we want it. So it looks like a nice swirly ice cream cone top. All right, so at this point, we're gonna start to attach it to the cone. You've got this tail coming out of your cone, remember? That's gonna go up through the center of your swirl. Okay, so right through the middle. And then the end of your 260, you have a little tail. We're gonna tie those together. So that's gonna keep our uh, ice cream centered right up on top of our cone. So I'm just gonna do a nice double knot to hold those together. And then the other end of your white 160, you've got the long 160 tail, that's gonna connect into the pinch twist at the back of your cone. So just wrap that around there. That'll hold our ice cream in place. Once you've got everything secure, just play with your spiral and your positioning. If you need to kind of squeeze some stuff to get it to stay in place, you can do that. Once you get everything arranged and play around with it for a little bit, you should end up with a nice high ice cream cone just like this. I've got my tails kind of, this is the ugly backside. You can trim those off and get rid of them. But to really make this look like ice cream, if you just add some sprinkles on the ice cream, it looks really good. I brought it upstairs for my kids the other day. I was gonna ask them, what does this look like? And before I could say anything, they were both like, ice cream! So the kids knew what it, what it, what it was, so I figured this passed the kid test. Here it is with some fun sprinkles. I really like pink, yellow, and blue as a color combo for the sprinkles, but you can do whatever colors you want. So I am curious to know what you guys think of this design. It's a little bit, you gotta play with the spiral a little bit, but if you do a nice tight spiral by pulling out that 160 really far, you should be able to get them all really nice and get that nice spiral cone shape. All right, so let me know what you think in the comments if this is one you'll be adding to your balloon twisting menus. If you're gonna attempt this, I'd love to see pictures of your balloon ice cream cones this week and you could do any kind of flavor of ice cream that you want. We could see strawberry, we could see mint chocolate chip, any kind of ice cream cone. I'd love to see pictures of your work this week over in our free Facebook group. The link is down in the description below. You can post pictures of what you're working on. And if you enjoy watching this tutorial and you wanna see more balloon twisting tutorials, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that you hit the bell or else you might not get notified when I actually put out a new video you got to hit that notification bell to get the notification when our new tutorials come out on YouTube if making balloons is something that you love as much as I do and you love the joy that it brings others when you give them your balloon creations, you might wanna consider our membership. It's called the Twister Hood. It is a membership specifically for balloon twisting professionals. So we've got people in there that are just starting their business or they've been in business a long time and they're just looking to grow their business and run things more efficiently and use the tools and resources that we give our members every month to help them run their businesses takes a lot of the design and technical abilities off of their plate and they can just focus on doing the balloons that they love. So we've got social media posts in there that we give our members every month they can use and post as their own. We've got premium balloon twisting tutorials that are only available for our members. You get access to all my over 600 clip art images. Um, that are in the clip art vault. You can use those anytime you need to. Take them over into a menu template. Drag and drop them into our ready-made menu templates so you can just get the exact balloons on your menu that you want for that day printed out and you're off to go to your party. We've got all kinds of templates in there for anything you might need for your business from professional looking business cards, sales templates, flyers, all kinds of stuff. Price list everything. <laughs> We've been going for a few years now, so there's a lot of stuff inside the Twister Hood to help out our members, and we hope that you'll join us in there as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this ice cream tutorial. I'll be back next week with another balloon twisting tutorial for you guys. Till then, I'll see you inside the Twister Hood or over in our free Facebook group checking out pictures of your work this week. All right, everyone. See you next week. Bye.